The University of Brandon's Faculty of Education is partnering with a PhD student from Taiwan to find a better way to teach the nature of science to Manitoba students. Manitoba's new science curriculum is focusing on the nature of science and teaching students about how the environment and science are closely connected no matter where you live in the world. Joining us now is University of Brandon Associate Professor of Science Education, Ellen Watson, and visiting scholar and PhD student, Wei Ting Lee. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Now, first of all, Ellen, let's talk about the new science curriculum and what it looks like. Yes, yeah, so the new science curriculum is very different yet similar to the current science curriculum. It's been about 20 years since we've had an update, so it's very exciting to get a new document. And something that I'm particularly excited about is the nature of science or what science is, is front and center in this document. So we're moving away from that checklist, let's learn all of these science facts, into let's talk about these big ideas. What is science really about? And, and why is it important to focus on what science really is about? Well, we want our students in Manitoba to be able to think using science. We want them to be able to make decisions using science. And we want them to be able to know that no more than just the facts, but be actually able to use that information in their everyday lives, whether they go on to be scientists or even if they don't. We use science in a lot of decisions when we're thinking about, you know, where do we want our food to come from? When we're thinking about um, our agriculture industry, there's lots of science embedded in that. And it's really important that Manitobans know it. So cool. Now, Wei Ting, you're from Taiwan. How do you use the nature of science in your lessons back home? And why is it and how is it relevant here in Manitoba? Okay, um, in Taiwan, uh, we have a new curriculum called the Practice and Inquiry. And this courses, we wanted to let our students, they can think like the scientists in their daily life. Not be, uh, not be um, our students, they need to like uh, make some experiments or to do something in their life. But they want, we wanted they can uh, to think like the scientists how to uh, find the answers to try to make the make some error and to modify their decisions in their life. That is so cool. Now, Ellen, how is this partnership with Waiting and Taiwan relevant in teaching that curriculum here in Manitoba? Yeah, so we can learn a lot from each other. Something we're doing with our current research is we've already looked at the two different curriculum documents, and now we're starting to talk to teachers. What's it like in Taiwan? What's it like here? What are the differences? What's similar? And hopefully we can learn from each other who's doing things well and where are some areas we might focus on and improve, and then take that information to Manitoba science teachers. And so what message do you have for educators in the province right now? Uh, I mean, we're excited about the new science curriculum and it's going to be focused more on, you know, what science is and what we can do with it in everyday lives. And it's going to be amazing for all of our students. And students as well. Any message for the students that will learn from this new curriculum? Uh, Science is going to look pretty similar to you, but you're going to be asking some really big questions. And that's exciting. That's the interesting stuff in science, at least for me. Yeah. And what about you, Waiting? Okay, I think the um, nature of science is in Taiwan, we have a new curriculum guidelines in the 2019 and we have put the nature of science into this and but uh, I think it's most focused on the science identity and mm -hmm. I think uh, the most important I wanted to uh, work uh, to raise their um, minds is the science is not only the science identity. We wanted they have more like the procedures knowledge or the academic knowledge in their daily life. And they can use this knowledge in their uh, future. And they might be the, the lifelong learners. Yeah, that, that is amazing. Well, thank you to both of you for sharing this with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks so thank much. You.